22.0 users, so this is going to be a pretty short video about subcategories. And, and what is a subcategory? So a subcategory just corresponds to what you're going to see here in the design app. Obviously, we have some defaults that come with the pro version. You may never have to touch these subcategories. You may leave them exactly the way we've defaulted them, and that's great. However, if you want to make some changes uh, or additions, I want to show you uh, how and, and why we do that. Um, so if you notice, if I click on edit, I can't actually edit what we call the main category. And we have uh, the only thing I can edit is the name. So the main category, you can see all the main categories right here. There's everything except wire, then there's wire, then there's holiday, and then there's other. I realized that everything except wire, that we used to only have two categories. That's why there's everything except wire and wire. Now we have added holiday um, and other. So I can pro I'll probably change the name of this category, everything except wire at some point, but right now I can't think of a better name. So just understand that it's primarily going to be for fixtures, transformers, you know, if you're doing audio with this, speakers, subwoofers, amplifiers, uh, things like that. Um, holiday is in a category all its own. I don't know much about holiday. We're still kind of building that out. I don't sell holiday products, so still learning that side of it. And then other products is products that you want um, to be in your proposals, but you don't necessarily want to show in your um, layouts. So like wire connectors, if I charge for wire connectors, I don't need to show uh, a symbol with wire connectors for every fixture that I have. Um, you could build that into the price of your fixture. You could do that however you want, but we just have an option for you to default some other products in there. So if I add a new subcategory, I can add a name, I can select one of those four categories and that's how I go about it. It's very simple. It all corresponds back to what you see here um, and then back to the proposal where the proposal shows up is other products here. I haven't added any new, but I can have default other products and I can add miscellaneous other products in there. So pretty cool, but simple functionality within our subcategories. Hope this is a helpful video for everybody.